We've all been really hard at work over the last few days, finishing off the platform, battling all kinds of weather to get it done, and I have to say I am so excited with the finished result. Let's have a look. So as you can see, coming off the main platform, we've created this one here, which is actually cantilevered off of the main platform itself. Now, in the beginning, we weren't exactly sure how this was gonna pan out because obviously being a cantilevered structure, it had the potential for quite a bit of give, uh, but even right out here on the end, it still feels really stable. And what I most like about this platform is that when you actually view it from further down the hill, it actually looks as though the whole structure is just floating on the hillside, which is really, really nice. Now, come this way and I'll show you my favorite part of all. So, if you have a bell tent platform and a bathroom platform, how do you join the two of them together? With a rope bridge, of course. And there she is. So, this one here was obviously highly experimental, uh, but it's worked out really well. Very simple construction, but she's very sturdy, and I think it makes a really wonderful, very unique feature. Actually, this is kind of like building a treehouse for grown-ups. Um, I'll show you how we built it. So the rope that we used for this was 12 millimeter nylon rope. Now it's really important if you're attempting a project like this to use a very high quality rope because it's gonna be out exposed to UV and exposed to all kinds of weather and you certainly don't want your rope bridge rope to rot away on you. So really make sure that you're investing in a good quality rope that has a high tensile strength. In this case, it's breaking limit is two and a half ton. So I hope I'll be able to cross safely. Now, what we've done with this is all of the support posts are really, really firmly put in place. So to do this, we've actually fixed them to the main structure using 260 millimeter coach screws. So these here are very securely bolted to the main structure. They are not going anywhere. So as you can see at this stage as well, we've still got them coming down a little bit further than they need to. We will be trimming these off eventually, but we've left them a little bit longer just so that we can see if they need any additional stabilizing over time. In terms of how we actually created the rope bridge, very simple. We just have two by fours here. We've drilled a hole in them, run one central piece of rope right the way through, and that is what's holding the vast majority of the structure together. The other two ropes are plaited around the two by fours, and what that does is it creates not only a really good look, but it creates the appropriate spacing for the two by fours as well. The handrails again are super simple. We've just taken that same 12 millimeter nylon rope, plaited it together just to give it a good look, and knotted it to the structure. Simple as that. And, there you have it, rope bridge. Next is the really exciting part, as we'll be putting up the Lotus Bell Tent and watching the space really transform. Not to mention, we've also collected a whole lot of bamboo that we're gonna be using to transform that platform there into an incredible bathroom hut. 